into the footy show as in pre-season has begun as players start the long slog towards Premiership glory. For now, the competition is largely internal as players battle for limited space on a crowded roster. The Waratahs have given us an inside look as four youngsters audition for the place in their final squad. There's a single place free on the New South Wales list and four youngsters have just two weeks to prove they should be the one picked for this quartet. Their premiership is on offer pre-season. <laughs> Hamish Angus was the leading point scorer in the 2012 Shoot Shield and the competition's player of the year. You never know these things. I guess for me it's just been about giving 110% from all the sessions I've come to and hopefully things go my way. Ben Volavola has played for Australia under 20s and last season starred for Southern Districts. Just getting a spot would be a great achievement but also pushing alongside uh, trying to play Super 15 would be a dream come true. It's Toby Brown's second chance at Super Rugby, having previously represented the Rebels. Um, it's just an eye opener, really. Like you, you take it for granted, um, and you, once you come back, you just really enjoy rugby. Um, you do it, you do it for the, you do it for the enjoyment. While the Tars see enormous potential in young back rower Peter Samu. Got straight into it and um, didn't know what was coming, and um, yeah, it was it was real tough there. It's what you like dream of, like. Training with these boys. Like. One week in and the final four have all impressed the coaching staff. Brown's hunger to make good on his second chance hasn't gone unnoticed. Well, absolutely. Toby's working a full-time job. Um, and, you know, he's, he's devoting his time to come in here and give himself a chance, and that's fantastic. And while Angus might moonlight as an accountant, he looks as though he could be a full-time Waratah. You'd think he's been with us for a couple of years. You know, he's got a lot of confidence in what he does. Uh, he's out there bossing a lot of these guys around who have full contracts and been here a number of years. But that doesn't matter. I mean, he's adopting a real role of the team. However, it's the Fijian-born fly half who seems to be in the box seat. I just think there's a fair bit of upside in Ben. Um, you know, and he, he just may be slightly in front at the present time. Uh, but who knows, things may change by Friday. After a second week on the track, the Tars hopefuls have one final session to turn the heads of the coaching staff. And it's another gruelling stairs workout that even has the veterans hurting. Stairs. <laughs> Head coach Michael Checker is facing an increasingly difficult decision. I had to sit down and decide, you know, one guy, and it's not that easy because he's sort of deciding people's futures, really. These guys have come in here just on a call at the last minute. From I called them up, and when I when I knew I was going to have the job, they've not just done the footy work. They've run up hills and upstairs, pounding it, giving it their best, and full respect to them because you know they're putting everything on the line to to try to to get a, a place in the squad. In the end, the raw talent of Vola Vola is too much to overlook. But the coach had some words of encouragement when he made the call. I hope you continue to get used to the big boys now because I'd like to offer you the last spot, so just started cheering once I heard that. <laughs> he may be happy to be on the list, but ironically, the real work starts now. Patrick Stack, Fox Sports News. Well, it can be tricky keeping...